What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Two Sticks. My name is Scott. I'm Belita. And this is going to be another cover to continue our theme here. Uh, we're going to check out, well, Belita, I'll let you go ahead and introduce um, Again, I was, you know, just chilling out on the, on the uh, YouTube and looking at some Rush music and ran across this guy. I'm Unlike the other covers that we did to, so far today, I've actually heard this one before. But I actually feel like uh, he, he really impressed me and I feel like he deserves some airtime. Um, Tyler Warren, the most amazing thing I can say about this is this is one person. He played the drums, recorded it, played the guitar, played the bass, did the vocals all at different times, synced it, and um, I, you know what, just wow. Tyler, if you're, if you're touring right now and you need a head of security, all right, because <laughs> you are one talented mofo, brother. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I don't have any skills to offer you, Tyler, but I'd be happy to come along and be like your hype man. Be like your Flav of Flav, you know, if this goes well. Just yeah, be like, yeah, yeah boy! Because <laughs> I could do that shit. I could do that shit all day. So just let me know, man. Let me know. But we're going to get into this video. This is Tyler Warren doing Free Will, which is a great song choice. Which is a great song. What am um, Rush cover, obviously. So we're yes. going to go ahead and get into it. You can almost close your eyes, right? And you hear Alex likes it. Right. His voice sounds so good. His voice sounds just like uh, Getty Lee's. Not maybe as high as, Getty, as Getty's but, voice, but he's hitting all the notes, man. Right, it sounds like it. He doesn't need to be Alex, uh, Alex Lifeson or Getty Lee, you know? Yeah. What he's doing is he is he's doing something that, that, that I really wish more people would do, which is when you do something traditional, right, you retain the form, you retain the sequence, but you put your essence into it. You yeah, know? and this I mean I'm a, I'm a kung fu man. I love I love the kung fu forms and uh, You know, I see people um, Just going through the motions and it's supposed to be an art, right? Well, this is an example of art. He's he's not just going through the motions Everything he's doing is perfectly replicated, but yet his own essence is into it you And know? he tracked all of these at separate times and and yes, he doesn't hit, He doesn't hit the high notes. And you like, see him when he's in these different rooms during right. playing it's not like he has a pair of headphones in um, where he's listening to his own recording and right. playing along. I don't know how the hell he tracked these different instruments down. It's called talent. <laughs> I guess, man, because, yeah, this is just really crazy. This is so cool right here. Yeah. 
out there that are multi-instrumentalists that are super talented vocally they, they can just do everything those guys don't anymore with the sophistication of music recording and mastering software um, those guys don't actually need anybody else this guy if he took the time to learn one of those programs like Pro Tools for example mm. he could lay down his own tracks he could use his own voice, his own equipment, his own instruments, lay down all the tracks for all the instruments, of that. and make his own album. And people do that. Like, that's not a foreign alien concept. It's something that you know we're seeing more and more of one and two man shows, basically. And it sounds like I, a full band. I just had a thought here. Uh, you, know, you know, we just did a, a video earlier, uh, recorded in 2013, from the, the kids that covered the Tool song. Mm. That girl that did the vocals, you know, she's probably old enough to team up I, they, they would be an amazing duo wouldn't they <laughs> that would know? be really cool, that would be yeah. oh so rad but to this to this guy's credit i mean out of the two covers that we've looked at the uh sarah lorera and the kids doing 46 and 2 and then this one i think this by far most closely resembles the original like this is so precise yeah this to me this sounds like rush um, there's a little few things that maybe aren't quite there, but but this is so precise. Um, it's really impressive. When he's doing this. the vocals, it's, it I don't even think he's really extending himself that much. Like he's not really, really trying. Yeah. What what would he be like if he if he was just doing vocals per se and really putting his soul into it? it would be very interesting to see. Yeah. Let's yeah. move on, huh? Yeah. <laughs> In his room somewhere, you know? Whoa! Awesome. Awesome. He hit it. He stuck that. Free Will by Rush. Uh, just gotta say that was that exceeded all expectations. Yeah, that's one of the best covers I've seen, and uh, I think that guy he's obviously talented. He's got a lot, he can play a lot of different instruments. He, eventually, one of these days, he's gonna stop doing covers and put out his own album. I oh, think. I mean, if he hasn't already, I don't know when was this film to get. How long was this film? Twenty twelve, it looks like. Okay, so he. We it's might been six years. We gotta yeah. follow up on you. Um, yeah. 
you know, a couple things stand out. I'm, I'm almost, almost, but not quite choked up over this because um, it's a great song. It's a song that's very influential in my life, and it talks about some deep, deep shit, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, we're, we're getting into religion. We're getting into where where is humanity in the cosmos? Is there or is not a god, you know, or gods or whatever? So that's a deep topic in and of itself. And, you know, when you get older, your, your thinking on that evolves. Um, the other thing is, you know, sometimes I feel like the odd man out because I talk about bands like Rush and... And you know that's old old school stuff. A lot a lot of younger kids are like, "What are you talking about, old man? You know, what is that stuff? I don't listen to that stuff, man. You know, it's like you don't even know what it is. You don't even know what it is, right? <laughs> but the the thought so far we've seen that there are young musicians, some of them very young, like grade school young, that are putting all this energy into into replicating it, perfecting it, reinterpreting it, and it gives me a lot of hope. It gives me a lot of hope. Well, the thing that's cool about it is in a lot of families, music is almost like an heirloom. Mm. It gets passed down from one generation to the next. So people grow up, who grew up in my era, you know, the 90s, grew up listening to artists like Led Zeppelin, Fleetwood Mac, Rush, you know, the Rolling Stones, ACDC, because their parents uh, introduced it to them when they were really young. And so when they like, they, a lot of people like the music they were first introduced to. That's just a general psychological fact if you want to look at it and so that has a tendency then so they like it then they're gonna pass it on right if they have children and right. that's how we preserve these artists otherwise every artist would have about a 10 or 20 year shelf life until the next generation came in came through. right this this so, is a pretty pretty cool I mean it's kind of funny you talked about mus musical families and music being passed down I mean yeah. I think I'm the only person in my family that that didn't do music that didn't play an instrument or sing or anything right, like yeah. that. On the other hand, I learned to really appreciate it because there was a lot of music and people were playing music around me. And uh, That's cool. So I look at this like, it's almost like I'm watching gymnastics. I can't do gymnastics, but I can <laughs> yeah. appreciate the hell out of gymnastics. I'm like, man, you know, and you watch it, you watch it over and over again. And, and it's like watching someone win a triple crown in three yeah. different events. So that was just, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know what else to say. It was pretty cool. Yeah, that guy, obviously, he's a big uh, 70s and 80s music kind of guy. I saw a Queen poster on his wall. Right. So, and if he's got a Queen poster, I'd be interested to hear him do some Queen uh, vocals, too. See if he can pull that off. Yeah. He did. He did Getty Lee pretty damn well. Okay, that was... Pretty damn yeah, well. Pretty damn well. So, super impressed with that. Uh, guys, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe below. Uh, for Two Sticks, my name is Scott. Alita. And we'll see you guys next time.